What do you think are the key factors for foreign companies to win the hearts of Vietnamese consumer here? Our success and growth have come from always putting Vietnamese consumer first. So you mentioned about purpose. Purpose is the reason why Ajinomoto Vietnam exists here in Vietnam. What or how Ajinomoto Vietnam can contribute to the society. Choosing a career in Japan is, is very important because people tend to stay for a company for so long. For my generation, what you described is correct. Nowadays, retaining uh, talented young employees is a top challenge to many, many companies. We help employees to find overlap between individual purpose and the company's purpose. For young leaders who uh, want to develop their business sustainably, do you have any advice to them? The most important thing is to thoroughly develop human resources. Well-being of employees, including yourself, is one of key factors. Chào mừng quý khán giả quay trở lại với chuỗi talk show đi cùng thương hiệu Walk and Talk mùa 2. Tôi là Nguyễn Tiến Huy, tập giám đốc của Pencil Group. Lần nào chúng tôi cũng có những vị khách mời đặc biệt. Và vị khách mời ngày hôm nay là vị khách mời đầu tiên đến từ một công ty nước ngoài, một người nước ngoài, một người đã dành rất là nhiều tâm huyết cùng với công ty của anh đã xây dựng được một thương hiệu có thể nói rằng là có phần mang tính điểm tựa ở tại thị trường Việt Nam. Xin giới thiệu với mọi người anh uh, Sutomu Nara, tổng giám đốc của Azimoto Việt Nam. Hello Mr. Nara, thank you for joining us today. Yeah. Thank you for having me today. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, xin chào các bạn. Dear Mr. Nara, the image of the Red Bull uh, has been ingrained in uh, the mind of uh, generation consumers in Vietnam. We know that uh, Azinomoto was one of the very few uh, foreign companies enter the Vietnam market in uh, the early 90s. Over the last uh, more than three decades, you have uh, gradually built trust in the hearts of Vietnamese thanks to the quality products and social contribution. Could you briefly share with us about the Azinomoto Group and the Azinomoto Vietnam companies? Absolutely. Uh, in Vietnam, Azinomoto is well known as one of the leading companies in field of seasonings and food. However, globally, the Ajinomoto Group is much larger and covers more areas. After 150 years since our establishment, the Ajinomoto Group has grown and expanded far more than just seasonings. Today, Ajinomoto Group has business in four areas, food and wellness, healthcare, ICT, and green. The journey of Ajinomoto in Vietnam started in 1991. Our first factory was in Binfoa, with the first product was Ajinomoto, the famous umami seasoning in Japan and all over the world. In 2008, we opened our second factory in Rontan, which specializes in producing flavor seasoning Ajigong. Since then, we have expanded our production and business nationwide with over 40 e-products. Today, Ajinomoto of Vietnam has 2,300 people across our factories to offices in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi, and 66 sales depots. Every day, hundreds of our sales teams directly deliver quality products to customers in all over Vietnam. From your point of view, how do you perceive the development journey of uh, Ajinomoto Vietnam and what are the most important milestones of that journey? Okay, 30 years is not a very long time compared to the over 150-year history of the Ajinomoto Group. Since our establishment in 1991, Ajinomoto Vietnam has had a memorable journey with achievement in both our business and our social contribution. On this development journey, Ajinomoto Vietnam has celebrated three remarkable milestones. First, in 1997, we began full self-production of MSC at Ajinomoto Bienfa factory using local materials and modern Japanese fermentation technology 
along with this, we've also reduced environment impact by investing in advanced wastewater treatment and promoting sustainable agriculture. This has set the foundation for Ajinomoto's variable initiatives in the environmental and agriculture field. And second, in 2000, we started to diversify product portfolio and launched the quality product flavor seasoning Ajigong as a pioneer in Vietnam with meat and bone extract produced in-house at a factory. Ajigong has brought more delicious meals while saving time for family members. Since then, we have continued to provide more quality products that enhance the well-being of Vietnamese people. Finally, in 2012, when we initiated the school meal project to improve the health and the nutritional status of elemental pupils in Vietnam. Since then, we have been creating more variable initiatives in the nutrition and health field, typically the mother and children project. Even though we just announced our purpose last year, a newly set up mid-term business plan, so-called roadmap for 2030. But for over the past 33 years, Ajinot Vietnam has been working and contributing exactly following our purpose, which is contribute to the well-being of Vietnamese people and society through providing quality products and variable initiatives. I came to Japan in 2016. My friend told me that uh, choosing a career in Japan is, is very important because people tend to stay for a company for so long. Is that still true? And uh, in your own story, uh, what led you to join Ajinomoto? In Japan, uh, labor mobility among the younger generation has been increasing in recent years. But for my generation, what you described is correct. There are three reasons why I chose Ajinomoto. First, I studied marketing in university. Second, I love food and work part-time as a chef in a restaurant to pay for my tuition and hobbies. Third, I enjoyed traveling abroad. So I chose Ajinomoto because it is the top food company in Japan and operates in over 130 countries and regions, utilizing advanced marketing activities. After joining, I learned that Ajinomoto is very dedicated to solving social issues through its business. This match my values. That's why I have worked for Ajinomoto for 32 years in six different countries. From your life experience, do you have any advice for young people when choosing their working place to start a career? Actually, people work for different reasons. I think it's important not only to work in the field you love, use and grow your skills, and get stable income, but also to help solve social issues through your job. I have told this not only to our employees, but also to my own children. So you mentioned about purpose. And recently, we see that uh, purpose has been in many activities of Ajinomoto Vietnam. Uh, could you share with us the reason why you, uh, the company, pursued purpose? In April 2023, Ajinomoto Vietnam announced our purpose. Purpose is the reason why Ajinomoto Vietnam exists here in Vietnam. What or how? Ajinomoto Vietnam can contribute to the society. There are two reasons. First, our purpose follows the direction from the Ajinomoto group, shifting from company-centric expression to society-centric expression, which means from what the company wants to become to how the company contribute to the society. Second, Ajinomoto has been in Vietnam for three decades. We understand local tastes, culinary culture, and social issues. By unique know-how and experiences 
from the Ajinomoto group, especially the amino science, the deliciousness technology Ajinomoto Vietnam brings out quality products meeting local demands. Meanwhile, our ASB driven strategy leads us to variable initiatives, solving social issues, creating both economic and social values. By providing quality products and variable initiatives, Ajinomoto Vietnam will contribute to the well-being of Vietnamese people and society, thereby realizing our purpose and roadmap to 2030. From the first product, the Umami um, Seasoning MHG, Ajinomoto Vietnam now has a diverse portfolio of more than 40 products. Yes. Could you share with us based on which direction the Ajinomoto products are being developed? Sure. Uh, as I mentioned, our quality products is one of our key factors in realizing our purpose and roadmap to 2030. It means we provide seasonings, food, and related products which are safe and hygienic, delicious, easy to cook or use, and affordable or reasonable. Besides, quality products also means that we provide value-added products, such as provide physical and mental health and nutritious functions, while promoting family bond in this busy modern lifestyle. From Ajinomoto Mao Seasoning, we now have over 40 products, including seasonings, beverages, foods, etc. We continuously innovate to meet consumers' needs. For example, we've introduced salt reduction food sea soy sauce and ready-to-cook coquette, sugar reduction brandy powder drink products, vegetable intake increase products such as aji salt, roasted sesame sauce for the healthy lifestyle of consumers. Most recently, we have launched into the market the new product Gyoza, making our expansion into the frozen food business in Vietnam. This product aims to bring the nutrition and convenient meals while providing enjoyment of new food experiences with authentic Japanese gyoza to Vietnamese families. What motivates uh, Ajinomoto Vietnam to uh, persistently implement initiatives? to contribute to happiness and the health of Vietnamese consumer over such a long period of time? Okay. Since the launching of the Food Meat Project in 2012 and Mother and Children Project in 2020, in collaboration with related organizations, Nation of Vietnam has been constantly deploying these projects nationwide for two reasons. First, we believe that to reach a nutrition balanced status needs long term and continuous efforts. And second, the positive impacts that these projects have brought to their beneficiaries and the positive responses from team and society. A great motivation for us to continuously implement these initiatives. Moreover, Recently, we have expanded the scale of initiatives to create more values for society. Since the late 2023, Ajinomoto Vietnam has started a school meal project, second stage, expanding to the elementary schools that don't have boarding kitchens through catering services. This benefits more pupils contribute to the development of future generations in Vietnam. During the journey implementing uh, these nutrition uh, initiatives, is there any uh, the experience that deeply impressed you? Yes. When children, mothers, teachers, and doctors say, it's really delicious and have improved our health through our initiatives, Seeing their happy smiles in person is very touching. It makes me feel proud to work for this company. So I tell our employees to visit each site 
uh, which we call Gemba in Japanese, more often to feel our contribution in person. As you mentioned, the strategy to realize Ajinomoto's purpose is through um, quality products and uh, valuable initiatives. So in your opinion, what are the, the strengths and the foundation that help Ajinomoto Vietnam to execute this strategy? Okay. To realize Ajinomoto's purpose, fundamental foundation is having a strong organization. This can execute ASB in the manner of speed up and scale up by penetrating corporate philosophy structure and enhancing human resources assets who have strong passion and pursuit of operational excellence. We will build a sustainable business portfolio, launch new business, and strengthen corporate brand value while creating economic and social value through intangible assets and a new ecosystem. Each department in our company applies ASV into their daily work to enhance our social and economic contribution. Employees also do their daily work, even the smallest tasks, with enthusiasm and passion, as this helps us move towards our roadmap to 2030. Nowadays, retaining uh, talented young employees is a top challenge to many, many companies. In Ajinomoto Vietnam, uh, what has the company done to create a, a good working environment so you can retain, uh, you can recruit and retain uh, young talented employees? Today, young employees view companies as more than just places to work and earn. They seek opportunities for personal growth, skill development, and career building. Understanding their expectation, Ajinomoto Vietnam offers not only competitive benefits, but also various policies and activities to enhance employees' engagement and retention. First, we focus on developing our workforce through training and education, including nutrition, environment, and digital technology. This ensures employees have the necessary skills and knowledge, contributing to solving social challenges and advance their careers. And second, we promote a DE and I, diversity, equity, and inclusion workplace, where a difference in gender, age, and nationality are respected and valued each other. And third, we also prioritize employees' physical and mental well-being with initiatives such as healthy meals, nutrition, and health software. And recently, we introduced a daily five-minute exercise routine for all employees, from factory workers to office staff and sales members. Finally, we help employees to find overlap between individual purpose and the company's purpose. This motivates employees to work with passion and proactiveness, thereby increasing employees' engagement and contributing to realization of our purpose and roadmap to 2030. As you mentioned, Ajinomoto Vietnam have uh, implemented the um, nutrition initiative to uh, contribute to the growth of future generation in Vietnam from uh, fetal stage to uh, elementary school. Yeah. From your view, um, how did that uh, initiative contribute to uh, the prime, the engagement and the commitment of the employees to the company? Yeah, certainly yes. At Ajinomoto Vietnam, employees understand and emphasize with the company's purpose. We also help employees to find the overlap between individual purpose and the company's purpose, which contribute to the well-being of Vietnamese people and society. From that, 
initiative of the company, including nutrition initiatives, are created by them from daily efforts of every employee, driven by their inner passion and enthusiasm. Moreover, real impact from these nutrition initiatives to well-being of Vietnamese people and society make our employees proud, leading to enhance their engagement and commitment to the companies. You are our first guest from a foreign company. So reflecting the um, journey of Ajinomoto Vietnam, what do you think are the key factors for foreign companies to win the hearts of Vietnamese consumer here? Looking back on Ajinomoto Vietnam's journey, our success and growth have come from always putting Vietnamese consumer first. Regarding the products, we do not simply introduce the successful products from other markets to Vietnam. Instead, we really invest time and effort into researching and developing products suitable with local culture, tastes, and needs. We also use modern technology and our expertise from the Ajinomoto Group to produce quality products meeting these customers' changing demands. In terms of initiatives, we also try to understand real issues that people are facing in Vietnamese society. Using our expertise and strengths, we create initiatives that help solve these problems. I believe that our continuous effort to provide quality products and valuable initiatives for the well-being of Vietnamese people and society have helped Asian Vietnam build trust and win the hearts of Vietnamese consumers. Thank you for your valuable sharing. Now we have quick question, quick answer. Okay. My first question to you is, what are the three things you most proud of? First one is, uh, Ajinomoto Vietnam can contribute to the well-being of Vietnamese people and society. Second one is Ajinomoto Vietnam can realize business growth in here, Vietnam, where it's very important country for the Ajinomoto group. Third one is a kind of my uh, personal matters, private matters, but uh, I'm proud of realizing well-being of my family members. What are the three things you're planning for this year? Start three new initiatives, including not only health and nutrition field, but also sustainability field. Second, strengthen business portfolio, including launch frozen food business. And third, try to maintain good communication among family members. What are three things that have you keep your enthusiasm and renew yourself every day? Uh, visit the Gemba and observe and feel in person that our initiatives are really contributing to the well-being of Vietnamese people and society. Second, increasing employees' engagement with the company through business growth and the evolution of HR systems. And third, healthy and happy life of my family members. For young leaders who uh, want to develop their business sustainably, do you have any advice to them? For business success, having a strong organization is fundamental. So the most important thing is to thoroughly develop human resources. And second one, for sustainable development, it is important not only to focus on immediate or short-term sales and profit, but also to contribute to solving social issues through your business. Without this, truly sustainable business, sustainable success cannot be achieved. Third one is, in order to execute above two points, well-being of employees, including yourself is one of key factors. Thank you, Mr. Nara. 
We believe that growing a brand is like growing a tree. You need to have a strong root, which is the people, the human culture, and a vision to the sky. Yeah. What you share today about Ajinomoto Vietnams, how the company's purpose connected to the human resource strategy yes. is a proven case study uh, for the audience and uh, proven again that philosophy of growing brand like growing tree. I have a small gift to you, which is a tree. Yeah. This is um, uh, a wish from us uh, to wish for Ajinomoto Vietnam to continue on the sustainable development yeah. journey, yeah. contribute to uh, the society of Vietnam. Yeah. And thank you so much for that. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for uh, having me today. Xin cảm ơn.